Just gonna let you into a little secret here, Hans. I've deliberately positioned the cushions so they look like butterfly wings. I look like a butterfly. Except they're not attached and they're cushions, but. Hello, Hans, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Oh, these strings, I don't know what's happening. I should actually do them up in bows, shouldn't I? Do them up in bows, but hello, Hans. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're just joining me now, then I'm doing up my bows and my name's Imogen. That's better, wee. Are you ready to rumble? Because we've got a big haul today, Hans. We've got a big drug store haul. Obviously, I couldn't just do a boots one without a super drug, and I couldn't just do a super drug without a boots. I have to do both. Have I got money in the bottom of these bags? Okay. Collecting change I didn't even know I had. Winning! Just quickly before we begin, I want to start this video by giving you a little quote. I know it sounds really weird, but I'm just feeling all quotey today. I'm feeling all quotey. Definitely not a word, but I love quotes. You know me. I love a good quote. This is my favourite quote for the moment. Life is like a camera. Focus on what's important. Capture the good times, develop from the negatives, and if things don't work out, take another shot. I actually love that quote so much, and it's so true. Like, you can always just take another shot. Learn from the negatives, but focus on the positives. There are so many positives that we neglect to think about. Sometimes we get so wrapped up in what's bad that we forget about what's good. And there is so much good in this world. There are so many good things in your life. So just remember that you can take another shot. If at first you don't succeed, push your, what is it? If at first you don't succeed, Pick yourself up and try again. Da, 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 again. Try again. Don't give up on anything. Remember, Rome wasn't built on a date. After Imogen goes off on millions of tangents, well, we're probably gonna go off on loads of tangents, let's be honest, let's be real here. And I've got a shout out to do for Dion Crow. Dion, my gal, DD, my gal. Don't know if anyone's ever called you DD, but I'm gonna call you DD. She sent me a Snapchat of her boyfriend Snapchatting her, saying he caught her on the treadmill watching my videos and she was laughing. Dion, my gal, not only are you watching me on the treadmill, but you're laughing at my videos. I love you. So that's my shout out for this week. I love you, baby girl. You're amazing. Thank you for even watching my videos. Let alone laughing at them. Oh, just quickly as well. Just quickly. Here we go. Tangent, tangent, tangent. I did this makeup look today just to check if you Huns want me to film it for a tutorial. If you do want me to film it for a tutorial, I should probably come closer so you can actually see the makeup. Can you see that? So I did this makeup look in a vlog a while ago and you were like, oh, can you, and some of you were like, oh, can you do that tutorial? Well, I did the makeup today to check if you huns still want this tutorial and then I will get this tutorial on the channel on Sunday. Doing three videos this week, huns. Don't worry about Imogen, she don't mess about. I'm doing three videos. What's going on? You all right? I'm feeling fine, thank you very much. Even though you're talking to yourself, you're definitely not all right. And she sat in bed and was like, I'm gonna do my makeup really glam for a drugstore haul because I wanna see if my huns want the tutorial. Toot, if you want the toot, then let me know. Stocked up on sweets, huns. No, I'm not grabbing my boobs. I'm grabbing my Swedish fish. So without further ado, let's get on with the haul. Let me get me this seat south so I can tell you exactly what I spent on every inch, you know what I mean? First thing we're starting with is the Ilia Dye Lash. Now, this isn't to dye my lashes, this is to dye my brows. I get it in black and this is £9.45. Some of you asked if I dye my eyebrows because ages ago, not even ages ago, a week ago, in a vlog, me and Holly were tinting our brows. Before I go away, I always tint my brows because let's be real, we're not gonna wear a lot of makeup when we're away, but we like to have our brows snatched to the high heavens. Well, Ilya, no mix and no mess is telling me. £9.45, but this lasts ages because you need the tiniest bit. I literally put two drops of one of the solutions and then about that much of the actual cream and I mix it in with the stirrer. And then what I get is, instead of using the brush that they provide you with, I brush all my hairs up into place with a spoolie. Then I take what I normally use to fill in my brows, an eyebrow pencil, no, not an eyebrow pencil, an eyebrow brush. An eyebrow brush, I can call it that, can't I? Yeah, an eyebrow brush. And then what I do is I use the eyebrow brush because they're normally angled. I use an angled liner brush. That's what I use. I use an angled liner brush and then I literally fill in my brows because the angled liner brush gives me that precision. And then I go over, I leave them for about five minutes, then I wipe them and I normally do it twice just so they're extra dark because sometimes I feel like it doesn't give me that much color. So I do it twice. But they didn't have dye brow. Sometimes they have dye brow, but dye brow and dye lash, exactly the same hands. But I just think it's really important to have color on your brows because I'm being honest, even if I'm not going away, Having that tint underneath allows me to see the guideline of the shape even more so when I'm actually filling them in. So when I am doing my brows, if I've got that natural color underneath it anyway, I don't even need a guideline because that's my guideline. And I feel like it makes your brows stand out more and it gives more of a base for your product. So the next product that I've got is the La Roche-Posay Zero Zinc Zinc Sulfate Solution Cleansing and Soothing. That was a bit of a mouthful. Now this is on offer at the moment for 6.37, but it's actually normally 8.50. I'm just looking at my laptop because I didn't get the receipt for this one. I'm 
so silly. I bought this one separately, but oh my god. Oh my god. So, what I normally do is, I got recommended this by my friend. Just before my moisturiser, I'm going to spray this on. Now, huns, if I feel like a spot's coming up, and I feel that redness coming up, or that little, you know when you're like, oh, there's going to be a spot there. Spray this on your face. Not only does it mattify any oily skin, not that I have oily skin, but you know in this weather, let's be real. Even though I have normal to dry skin, I am getting sweaty, and I am getting a little bit oily. So I use that for that as well. Not only does it really help spot treatment, but it mattifies oily skin. Sometimes I don't like putting a lot of powder on, but my face is a little bit too dewy. I'll put a little bit of powder on, but then some parts are a bit wet, let's be honest. Spray this, it sets it, it mattifies it. Loving this, loving this product. La Roche-Posay, I'm loving your work, Hans. I'm loving your work. Like, honestly, I mean, I'm not gonna spray it now because I quite like the look of this dewy. Look, I don't even know what's happening, but I quite like it. But this is amazing. What I like about it is it's a spray that doesn't leave you feeling tight and uncomfortable. You know some sprays, they're like, you feel a bit like, oh, is my face glued now? No, 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 no. So it's a zinc-based toner, but it's a spray. It's a mist. I went into it a little bit, but we don't need to go into it too much. But it's a really nice spray. You know, one of those mists which is just really cooling. Let's say you're by the pool. Use this. Because you're helping your skin, but you're also staying cool. Don't worry about me, Hans. Just helping a hun out. Just helping my fellow Hans out. Okay, so then let's move on to bases. I've got two bases today. I've got the Sleek CC Cream in medium. Medium is a tiny bit dark. Light is a tiny bit too light. Fair. Image is not going there. Get that? Get that. I like a little rhyme. My MSN name once was No Fear in those here. Yeah. And I also had Kisses Spread Germs and Germs Are Hated. So kiss me, boys, because I'm vaccinated. I wasn't kissing any boys. I was just a massive tease. I used to talk to them all on MSN, like, yeah, I'd really like to meet you. Never met them. Just used to lead them all on, but I was too scared to meet them. It was so funny. There's this boy I fancied so much once called Harry. Oh my god, when I was younger, I was obsessed with him. He was in the year above me, and he started MSNing me, and I was like, and he wanted to meet me so badly. And guess what Imogen did? said she had food poisoning so she didn't have to meet him because I was so scared and then we were going to sleep like I've just messed up my chance with Harry anyway going back to the sleek the medium one is a little bit too dark but what I like about it is it gives a bit of color to your face because I do pick up color quite quickly I'm really grateful for dad for that Ben's a lad Ben is a lad I don't know about you Hans I don't know if anyone feels me but my face is always a little bit lighter than my neck and body is that a fruit fly in here? That's a fruit fly. That's the one thing I don't like about the summer hands, fruit flies. I've got no fruit in my room. I've got no food in my room. These little fruit flies. Anyway, Imogen, butterfly, get back in business. Okay, so this really helps me with the difference in color because it gives me a little bit of facial tan without having any bronzer on. So what I have been doing lately is just applying this all over my face and wearing nothing else because it gives me really good coverage for a CC cream. It's creamy and moisturizing. It's got SPF 29, UVA and UVB, and it mattifies shine. So when we do have that little bit of sweaty glow, which I'm not gonna lie, I do actually quite like, this mattifies it, but also gives you this radiant, healthy glow as well. And this one was 8 dollars Just check the receipt. Contains vitamin C to protect the skin. Well done. I really like that. Yeah, so we don't have any shine with this, but we also have this nice little dewy, healthy glow. I like that one. If the colors are too dark or too light for you, what I would suggest is getting a dark one, then mixing it with moisturizer. There's no harm in having extra moisture for that face. Hans is there. So yeah, this one's just gonna give you a little bit of a glow to your face, mattify shine, but also give you good coverage, but also look like you're wearing nothing. Nada. Speaking of wearing nothing on your face, this is one of my favorite products that I've got at the moment. It's one of my favorite products. And this one is the Rimmel Insta Flawless Perfecting Radiant Skin Tint in Medium Dark. I am obsessed. I am slightly obsessed. This one was $6.99, but oh my God. Put a bit on today, and then I was like, didn't even look in the mirror. When I looked in the mirror and I was like, sorry? Sorry? If you're looking for coverage, this isn't it. However, you know I always go on about the glow because I love the glow. Well, this gives you that glow. This gives you this like, I can't even explain it. You like put it on and you look dewy, but not shiny, but flawless, but covered. It, it's just everything you'd want in a bottle. What does it say here? Natural looking glow, tick. 24 hour moisturization. Don't know about the 24 hour, but it definitely feels moisturizing. Primes and perfects. Honestly, it's saying it's Insta Flawless is so nice. If I was going on holiday, which, Huns, if anyone wants to go on holiday with me, like, holler at me, because I will go 
with you. I really want to go to Australia, but I'm thinking maybe somewhere closer for me and Jacob's first world winning holiday adventure. I act like we've never been on holiday together, we've been on holiday loads. We grew up together. Anyway, this, I would wear this with nothing. I'd probably put my brows on this and curl my eyelashes. It literally looks flawless, but you still look like you've got skin. At the moment, I'm into this whole, I mean, obviously it doesn't look like that now, right now. I have got quite a bit of makeup on, I'm aware of that. However, if I wasn't filming this look, what I was gonna say is, I'm really into this whole skin for skin. Like, I like to look like I've got skin, but still be a bit covered. Because let's be honest, Hans, it's nice to look flawless, but also looking natural. Yes, I winked. Yes, I did. Is my throat a bit croaky? I don't know what's going on. I feel fine, not ill. Maybe it says choker, do you think it's a bit too tight? P.S. Do you love the choker? I love the choker, it says XOXO. And this top I got on, I don't know if you can see, it's a little two-piece, it comes with shorts, but I haven't got the shorts on. Because <laughs> I want to chill. <laughs> I've got hairy legs, yeah I have. I've got my tracksuit bottoms on, but it's a really cute two-piece, but you can have it open a little bit, but I didn't want to have it too open in case, you know, a boob pops out. That wouldn't be so great for YouTube now, would it, Hans? The next product is the NYX Glitter Primer, and this was eight pounds, well. I looked up the best drugstore primers a while ago, and I've tried them all. I've tried them all. This, if you can get your hands on this, if you don't have a NYX in the boots near you, then you can go online. Everything I talk about today, anyway, I'm gonna link below, so don't you worry, I got you, Hans, but, this NYX Glitter Primer is so good. So what I normally do is, I just pop it on. I actually do it with my finger, which I probably shouldn't, but if I wanna cut my crease, my terminology's coming on, isn't it, Hans? If I wanna cut my crease, then I will apply it with a brush, like a flat brush, which I do like to carve out my eyebrows, and pat that on, and then just pat the glitter on. Also, the pigments from NYX are amazing as well, but this primer is really, really good. Like, when I put glitter on it, not only does it stay, it sticks really quickly, it doesn't go cloggy. You know what, it goes all liney and horrible. This one is such a good primer. Glitter, pigments, anything, anything. And also on the side here, it's got a little lips one. So if you've got glitter to put on your lips, and if you're going all out there for festivals, primer, eight pounds, and you don't need a lot, you need a tiny bit. Oh, they're nice lips, look. She's got like a little red color on her lips. Go on then, gal. Don't know who she is, but go on, gal. Put your arms all around it, take it now that you found it. Okay, so the next one, I have loved this for a long time. Some of these things are new, some of these things are oldies, but this is the Soap and Glory Archery 2-in-1 Brow Filling Pencil and Brush, and it's in the shade Dark Chocolate. I've got it on my eyebrows today. I forgot how much I loved it. You know when you repurchase something, you're like, mmm, love this. I love this brow pencil. I've got nothing else on my brows except this. So it comes in... I think it's three or five different colours, but I got it in the dark chocolate colour. But it is so creamy and so easy to blend out. For £8, I don't think that's that bad. It reminds me of the Anastasia Brow Wiz. Is it the Brow Wiz? Yeah, the Brow Wiz. I think it's called that. But it's so good. So what I'll normally do is I'll fill from about two-thirds in over, and then I'll draw a line onto the bottom there at the front to create that ombre look, and then just dust up like in strokes and you can really build it up that's what i like about it it's like light enough to build up you know those brow pencils sometimes where it's like whoa that's coming in thick and fast it's coming thick and fast like heavy do you know what i mean and you can't do the ombre effect also the little spoolie on the edge i'm just going to brush them up and then what i do with the spoolie at the front is i just brush up like that and i love it i quite like this product soap and glory i'm coming for you i've been looking for this for ages but it's always sold out in all the soap and glories it's not sold out in all the Soap and Glories because Soap and Glory doesn't actually have their own shop, but you know what I mean. It's sold out in boots all the time, probably because it's amazing. I'm not the only one that's discovered this. Let's be real. Okay, so my mum called me. I've got to tell you this story, Hans. I've got to tell you this story. For once, it doesn't revolve around me. I've got to tell you this, but this just goes to show you my whole family are crazy. By the way, my mum is coming on my channel soon, by the way, because my mum is crazy. But my mum lives in the New Forest, so I tend to go back to Brighton more so, because it's closer. But I'm going down to mum soon, so I'm going to get mum on the channel, mum! Okay, shut up. So basically, my mum does Amdram. She loves singing, and she loves musical theatre. And she went to pick up her director on the way to her rehearsal today. Anyway, she had hairy legs, and it was one of their dress rehearsals. So she took her shaver with her in the car. So when she's waiting for him outside the station, she's shaving one of her legs. She's shaving one of her legs. So she's shaving that side, dry shaving by the way, Hans, and then she's moisturizing the leg. And he's come out and she's like, oh, I've only done one leg. My mum is not only dry shaving, she's moisturizing, but she's also picking up her director, and he's come out, she's only got one leg done. So he comes out, and he sits in the car, and instead of acting normal, not telling him, 
He wouldn't have even looked at her legs. No offence, Mum, you're a fit mum. Mum is so beautiful. But the director's not going to be looking at her legs when she's driving. Well, if he was, then he needs to stay away because she's married. Anyway, she goes, oh, I'm going to show you my legs. I've only got one. Then when she's at rehearsal, she keeps going up past him when he's trying to be serious. And she's like, I'm just going to go and shave my other leg. Mum, I love you so much because that's what I would do. Like, I'm not being funny, Hans. There's times when you've had to shave your legs when... Is there? Let me think of times. There's been loads of times where I've had to shave my legs on the go. Or sometimes the armpit hair, it grows back so quick. Armpit hair and leg hair grows back so quick. Huns, we all know that. So that is the story of my mum, she's crazy. She was shaving her legs in the car, I love her so much. Ask Drugstore Hall, if any of you watched that then thanks Huns. If you didn't then, why not? No, I'm joking. <laughs> thanks for even watching this one. Anyway, so I used the collection concealer. So I thought, why not pick up their colour correctors? Now I haven't tried these yet, Huns. So there's a purple one, which conceals and balances out yellow tone floors. And then there's the green one, which cancels out red tone floors. So Huns, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna tell you how these are. I'll let you know in the description below after I've used these. I'll probably use them tomorrow and the day after. And then when I put the video, I will let you know exactly how they are. Knowing how good the collection concealer is, I've got high hopes for these ones. I really do have high hopes ones. I think they have a different coloured one as well. They have another one. Is it a pink or is it an orange? It's probably not. Maybe it's a red. But there is another colour, I'm sure of it. These are £4.19 each and I just think the colours are really pretty. So even if they're rubbish, they're a really light lilac and a really light green. It's so weird that I just said that, that I like the colours so I bought them. But I like the colours and I'm hoping they're good. I've seen the consistency on my hand and they do look quite good coverage. I will let you know it, my little hands. Imagine anyone can actually hear me filming. They'd be like, are you okay? Although to be fair, you're all watching me and you're probably thinking the exact same like, are you okay? And I'm gonna let you know, angels, I'm perfectly fine. <laughs> so we have two more products and they're both from NYX. This is my little secret. Actually, it's not a secret because I'm sharing it with my hands because obviously I share everything with you. Speaking of sharing, I was watching Hannah Renee earlier. She did a YouTube video and it was a Q&A. And one of the questions was, have you had any ba embarrassing period stories and when did you start? Well, I know I've told you one of my embarrassing stories before, but I need to tell you about when I started. So I remember when I started because my friend from dancing started the night before. And she was like, oh my God, I've come on my period and we were at jazz dance. At jazz dance and I was like oh my god she started but she was the year above me to be fair and I went home that night and I never forget it do you know why because I was wearing butterfly pajamas from George at Asda they were my favorite pajamas butterfly pink pajamas and in the morning those butterfly pajamas had to go in the bin because that was when I started so I started my period had no idea because I didn't really expect it you know when you wake up you just didn't I wouldn't have expected it at all then I'm going mom mom I'm getting panicked, I'm not gonna lie. There was nothing to panic about, but then my dad comes running up and he's like, what, what, what? And I'm like, dad, you can't come in. He's like, oh, Deanna, D, my mum's name, get upstairs. He was panicking, I said, it's a girl thing. Men, when it's a girl thing, like even if I now tell my dad he needs to get tampons, no, 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 once when I was in hospital, I said, dad, please can you get me some tampons and bring them into the hospital? Brings me in those little lets. Now I'm an applicator kind of gal. He brought me in the little lets, so I was like, all right, dad, we're just gonna pretend you didn't buy those ones. Can't believe I just told you which tampons I use. Actually, I can believe that. I actually can believe that because I share everything with you and I'm gonna throw everything away. Anyway, sharing things, going back off my tangent. This is the NYX eyebrow and eye pencil in the shade medium brown. It's what I've got on my lips at the moment. I'm gonna show you. I like a dark lip liner, I'm not gonna lie. I do like a dark lip liner and I'll show you what I do. So, if it's too dark, this is what you do. I'm using my phone as a mirror, camera, you know. So I go around the edge like that, overline those bad boys, you know. And then, when it's too dark, I know it's too dark, it looks massively dark. What I do is, I keep patting. And when you eventually pat, you make it go duller. And it sort of sets into your face. Sometimes I just wear a lip liner around the edges and then do this and it gives your lips a natural little colour. So that's Imogen using an eyebrow pencil for a lip liner. Everyone does it, but I act like I invented it. I definitely didn't. Also, Hans, what we're loving life with is £2.50. Let's be honest, if you carry it around and you forget your eyebrow pencil, you've already got it, because you remembered it, because you wanted it for your lips. Thank you. So the last product from Boots, it's the NYX Wonder Pencil in Light, and it's a concealer, an eye brightener, and a reverse lip liner 
in one. I've never used it as a reverse lip liner because I don't really know what I'm doing with that one, but this one, £4.50. Now I'll tell you what I do with it. Sometimes when we're on the go, we can't be carving out our eyebrows, getting that concealer out, getting that brush out and really carving out those brows. So this is what I do. I will literally take this pencil and just go under my brow like that. It's so easy because it's so precise. You can really carve out those brows instantly. Not only that, but I also use this if I want to line my waterline and make my eyes look a bit bigger but not have white. Sometimes we have white liner, it can really stand out. This one's really subtle and it makes your eyes sort of pop without being visible, if you know what I mean, because it's not white. So this one is really good, not only to carve out the brow, to use in the waterline, make our eyes sparkle a bit more, you know, Hans? So there you go. That is the boots one done. So, Hans, should we go on to Superdrug? Oh, just whack myself. My first Superdrug product is this. I've already got this in purple and pink. You can get it in three different colours. I think maybe four, but I love this colour. I think it's so cute for summer, don't you? Anyway, it's a makeup bag, but it comes with three makeup bags. Yeah, not one, not two, but three. 10 pound for three bags. So you have a small, a medium, and a large. And what I like about the large is you can see all your makeup in there. You can put so much makeup in there. And then I have one of these for brushes and then one of these for like pencils, eyeshadows, any single stuff like that. Well, you can put whatever you want in there. I love this color. I'm living for it. 10 pound for three bags, which I don't think is that bad at all. Where's my purple one? See, I've got it in purple. I've got everything in there that I'm not gonna show you. Oh my God, I've got too much in that one. Good, good, good Lord, good Lord. I've got quite a few skin bits, but I need to talk to you. So Huns, you know how much I love my Nip and Fab serum. You know how much I love it. I'm always on the hunt for a dupe. I love my Nip and Fab, but when it's not on offer, it's quite expensive, but it's one of my favorite products for my face. The Nip and Fab Dragon's Blood Serum. Should I talk or should I just think I can? I definitely can. This is £2.99. £2.90 effing nine. No swear word, no swear word, just effing. Simply Pure Hydrating Serum from Superdrug. I can't pump it and show you. It's not like a swatch, it's not like a color, but this is amazing. If you are near a Superdrug, even if you're not, get it online. Because this is £2.99 and it is insane. It makes my skin feel tight. What I like about it is you can feel the serum drying on your skin. So it actually is seeping into your skin. What I don't like about some serums is you put them on and they feel like they're just sitting on the top of your skin. And you're like, I'm a bit greasy now and I can't really put, like it's all gone in your hair. Honestly, I've been using it for about two weeks now and I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed. It's amazing. £2.99. Obviously, don't get me wrong, I will still be using my Nip and Fab. But this, for the moment, is winning. It's winning, and we are winning, because we found a dupe. Found a dupe! When I get a dupe, I'm like, I'm gonna go and buy myself a new top because I've just saved some money on makeup. I mean, I don't think it really should work like that. Or I'm like, I should probably go and treat myself to some more Swedish fish or something, because realistically, I've just saved money. I mean, it doesn't work like that. I should be putting more money into savings, but 2.99. Two? 99. I thought I'd show you my favorite sheet masks. So recently I went to the Steeler Mill and the creative director who was there, she was American and she is from LA and she was so LA, I loved her so much. And she was telling me that like, she masks are really important. Do you know when you're traveling, you really need to hydrate your skin. Let's be real, when I'm on the plane, I'm not doing anything to my skin. Well now, I will be wearing sheet masks because when you're up in the sky, your skin is getting dry. It's a little rhyme. Okay, don't need to rhyme. Don't worry about it, Imogen. But anyway, these are my favourite drugstore sheet masks. They are so good. So good. They're £4.99. I just thought I'd share them with you. If you're going on a plane, if you're going away on holiday, or even if you just want to treat your skin to a nice little mask, then these are two of my favourites. This is the Brightening Vitamin C Face Sheet Mask. And what I like about them is there's no mess. You just put them on leave them on and then pat the excess into your skin when you take them off. So this one is brightening radiance enhancing vitamin C, E and seven plant extracts help reduce the appearance of age spots, imperfections for a bright and even skin tone. Hydrates and revitalizes the skin to reveal a radiant and luminous complexion. That it does, Hans. That it does. It makes your skin look bright. Bright. That's what I'll say about that one. This one is, this intensive recovery serum enhances the skin's elasticity. Ingredients rich in vitamins, antioxidants, and amino acids help to hydrate, nourish, and revitalize. COQ10, caviar, and witch hazel help protect the skin and reduce redness for a youthful appearance. So this one is more hydrating for me, definitely. That's the vitamin C one. However, this one makes my skin feel smoother and softer. So I really like this as a base under my makeup. Me and Holly went away and we were doing our makeup on the plane and 
it was like our skin was separating like our makeup was just separating i do my makeup the same day in day out when i was doing it on the plane that was it the aircon was getting to me and it was just separating i was like i need a sheet mask i need a sheet mask i mean it wasn't that dramatic it really wasn't but i really wish i had my sheet mask just saying most of my stuff from super drug is actually skincare so bear with me huns but this another super drug zone and this one is the naturally radiant brightening hot cloth cleanser well comes with a muslin cloth as well but i normally use my exfoliating brush however this muslin cloth is going to get used tonight and i will let you know just how it works but basically i've been using the liz earl hot cloth cleanser and it is actually quite expensive it's not really expensive but it's more expensive for drugstore well, this one's two pound 95 two pound 95 and it is so nice so it awakens skin's natural glow yes it does my skin i'm really into skincare at the moment i never really realized how much i wanted to look after my skin until i got a little bit older like obviously i'm only 24 i'm not saying i'm old but what i'm saying is when you're younger you take your skin for granted and you're like yeah i don't need to do anything well i love skincare so much now i love not wearing makeup and having that natural glow i really do and this is amazing i don't think i'll ever use the lizelle again this is the exact same but so much cheaper i think i'm saving 10 pounds yeah, yeah i think i saved 10 pounds it's so nice. Exfoliates with the nourishing cocoa butter, brightening kiwi fruit and mulberry extracts. It smells amazing too. And what I really like about it is it's really gentle on your skin. Really gentle on your skin. And afterwards I do really feel like my skin's revitalised. Good word. Thank you. One for the team there. Revitalised. Next product. Oh my god. So Joanna Lumley. She's fabulous. Do I, should I have a Swedish fish? Yeah, I will. Joanna Lumley is fabulous, absolutely fabulous, darling. Joanna Lumley, love Joanna Lumley. Anyway, I really love Joanna Lumley, as you can tell, because I just think she's fab. She's older and she's fab. I read an article recently, actually, I don't think it was recently, but I was just looking up, like, I don't even know what I was looking up, but I stumbled across this article, and she was saying that her favorite moisturizer for her face and body is this. Well, if you have any dry skin anywhere, anywhere, let's say you've got dry skin in your elbows, let's say, you know, before you do fake tan, your dry skin, put this on. Put this on your knees and you will not get patches. I use this for the end of my nose. I get dry patches up here. Also, when I went away, I started peeling a little bit from my tan. This sorts me out. It is amazing. It was £3.99, I think. I thought this was £3.99. It was £1.29. £1.29. Makes your skin look so glowy. Can you see that? Honestly, I'm not just saying this. This moisturiser is insane. Well, I spoke to my friend Lucy recently and she said she uses it. I was like, well, Lucy, thanks for telling me about it. Because I had to find out from Google. <laughs> Joking, love you, Lucy. But I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed. This is the last skincare product, and I've got two more products there from the Super Drug haul. I actually really like hauls. I love hauls. Let me know what you're thinking and what you're saying about hauls because I like them. So, this is the Be Pure Missile Oil from Super Drug. This one is £3.45. Now, I don't use it as a missile oil, I use it quite differently i don't use it that differently but basically sometimes i don't know about you huns but my dip brow pomades from benefit from anastasia beverly hills they dry out they do dry out i also have a little top tip which i'll give you in a second but basically switching over my legs there the other day my rimmel liner it dried out i put one drop of this one drop i literally go like that drop right you didn't need to know that but i just go drop and just swirl it around swirl your brush in that liner it's not dry anymore it's not dry anymore other people use quite expensive oils and they use them in their makeup. Not only is this a missile oil, so it's amazing for your skin anyway, but it's really kind and gentle and it's so cheap. It instantly makes a dry product not dry anymore. It's insane. But my top tip, just before I use my soap and glory on my brows, what I do is I take a cotton pad and I wipe with this over my brows. Not only does it make sure that all the hairs are going in the right way, you then spoolie up your brow product is instantly creamy whether you're using a brow pencil or a pomade putting this on your brows beforehand instantly makes your product blend out so much easier let me know if you try it because i swear by it like, it makes your brows just sit perfectly and you know when you're brushing up sometimes and it's like clogs together a tiny bit no no, no. not if you put this on before thank you thank you two more products huns this is the most expensive thing i got this is the elf cosmetics multi blender massager precision well you can use it to sculpt, shape, blend in foundation, powder or bronzer flawlessly. Cruelty free, fibre hairs show exact placement of makeup on the brush for an optimal amount of product use. I haven't used this for my foundation, but I've used it for my contour. Listen, it is like angled. Can you see? It's like shape. I've never had a brush like this. I normally use this one from Sigma and I'm not going to stop using that one, but I'm going to stop using it for the moment because this is amazing. 
like it okay 14 pound 50 fine but if you've got it spend it because it is worth it like it literally i got like that and i've instantly got a contour line which blends out because of where the brushes are and it's got like ribs in it it makes it look flawless you know sometimes when it's a bit bitty your contour you can use this for cream contour and you can also use this for powder contour elf cosmetics come through go like that and also on your jawline it just oh i'm obsessed it's so soft it's so good to use because it's like a little handle i feel like i've got a little paintbrush in my hand it's so cute i think i got it because i thought it looked cute and then i got it and i was like oh my god i love it it's amazing if you don't have an elf in your super drug then just buy it online i think you can get free delivery to super drug stores that's what i normally do however there's an elf in the super drug near me now so i'm loving life but i'm obsessed i'm obsessed oh my god listen this is what i was thinking about the other day i was on the tube and you know when the escalator stopped don't you think it's so weird when you walk on an escalator and it's off you feel like you're moving it's so weird anyway so this is the last product this is the maybelline new york foundation dream cushion it reminds me of the days when i used to use dream matte mousse i used to apply dream matte mousse all over my lips oh my god my passport photo i literally look like i've got no lips and i've got nice lips i've got nice lips like it literally looks like i've not got any lips i'm not that because i've dream matte moussed my lips away i used this briefly today i got a light too light a color what color did i get i got 30 sand why do you get sand Imogen? You're not sand are you? Well maybe I will be sand when my tan fades but this is really nice coverage like I tried it earlier and it really looks nice coverage but it also looks quite dewy but not too dewy so I'm gonna get another colour of it another shade but I really like the coverage of this Huns. This one was $9.99 but I really like Maybelline Fit Me and I feel like this is really similar. Flawless like it's actually flawless the coverage is flawless. So I need to just get a different colour. I'm going to give this one to my mum or Lucy. So mum or Lucy, whoever claims it first, you can have it. Actually, to be fair, I always give things to them anyway. So whoever wants it, you can have it, my hands. But anyway, we did it. My little butterfly cushions, I love you. The drugstore haul complete. Huns, if you liked it, let me know. Because I love doing hauls. Don't need to touch my boobs, but I love doing hauls. And also, if you want me to film this tutorial, let me know. Because I'll be using my brush you know so i'll let you know down below any of the products i haven't used and i'll let you know how they were like those two color correctors i'll let you know how that muslin cloth is with the hot cloth cleanser anyway i really hope you like this if you do please give it a massive thumbs up i love you stop being weird Imogen. link all of the products i've used below as well not that i've used them but the ones i've mentioned i'll link them all below haha <laughs> you know should we do my singing game if you're new to my channel then hi please subscribe i love you join my family i do this game where i mime to a song and you can guess the song so do what you gotta do i'll also link this top and this choke below in case anyone else wants to be twins with me i know which song i want to do but i think i should do that for this tutorial for this makeup look because i'm thinking of wearing a red top 10 o'clock so i've got to watch love island on repeat wait there what am i doing getting a song i know which song i want to do but i don't think i know the words give this a massive thumbs up and hit the subscribe button if you haven't already then i'd be so grateful i love you all so much i cannot explain it if i could get three videos up on my channel a week then i would love my life because then i can come to you more i can come to you more like two videos a week isn't enough for me because I, I get so excited about uploading because i get to be with my hands i love it so much okay hans thank you so much for joining me today i love you so 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 much so until next time angels i might flick my hair forward to do this but i'm gonna love you <laughs> no i don't think i can go there yeah i can and i'm gonna leave you Okay, I'm going to stop being weird. I love you. Bye.